What's up everybody, welcome back. Today we are here at a very hot Hollywood Studios on June 30th. And on this day, one year ago, Toy Story Land opened to the public. And so of course today we're gonna be heading into Toy Story Land and then just going around and exploring Hollywood Studios a little bit. And I actually snagged a Fast Pass right before I came over here for Slinky Dog Dash right now. So that's where we're heading right now. So let's go ride Slinky Dog Dash. <laughs> We made it into Toy Story Land. Oh no, I don't see Slinky Dog running. What's what's going on? I hope it's not Toy down or something. Nation Rex. Oh my You're god, Jesse scared me. Christmas flag. They mean business. What is your favorite ride over here in Toy Story Land? Toy Story Mania, Slinky Dog Dash, or Alien Swirling Saucers? Most of you probably already know this, but right here, by Rex. This says the price is uh, $19.95, but above it it says $11.22. The first Toy Story was released on November 22nd, 1995. I remember when this land opened one year ago. It doesn't seem that long. It seems like it just opened. Here we go. Hang on. Let's look at Star Wars. There it is. One more. Hang on. Oh. Okay, here's a good look. Almost ready to open. I love this song. You got troubles, and I got them too. There is a you know, some people might think that Slinky Dog is a kitty roller coaster. I think it's probably the third most intense roller coaster here at Disney World. But if you sit in the back, it's actually really intense. The only thing that I complain about over here in Toy Story Land is that there is no shade at all. They literally have to put up umbrellas like this to get some shade, but yeah, no shade at all in this land. And that's what most people complain about. That's really the only uh, bad thing about this land though. And of course, Forky has joined Andy's backyard too. Have you guys seen Toy Story 4 yet? I haven't got the chance to see it yet. But if you have, let me know what your favorite Toy Story is. Without seeing Toy Story 4, my favorite Toy Story is number 2. And right here, just outside of Toy Story Land actually, I'm pretty sure right back here is where the new um, restaurant is going to go. It's a sit-down restaurant. Uh, in Toy Story Land, and I think it's a uh, themed around barbecue. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go right here I can see a building right here. They're probably just probably gonna use that I'm thinking all right I'm headed out of Toy Story Land for now Maybe gonna come back later on if I can make a fast pass for like Toy Story Mania or Alien Swirling Saucers But right now I'm heading out we have a fast pass for a rock and roller coaster in a little bit But first we're gonna come over here into the Voyage of the Little Mermaid It's a nice show get away from the heat and uh, haven't seen this in a really long time Little Mermaid's always a great show. It makes me cry every single time. I just ball my eyes out in there. All right, now we heading down Sunset Boulevard. 
coming down here to G-Force Records. We got a we got a show to catch. I actually haven't been on this ride in a while because the last time I was here, if you saw that vlog, I went to the Fast Pass and then right as soon as I went to Fast Pass, like, the line just completely stopped moving, the ride shut down, so I had to leave, but, so I'm excited to come on this right now. Chris, can you grab my blacklist, Paul? Yeah. How about some fast passes? Wait a minute. I love that idea. How about some backstage passes? Our super stretch limo is here. Here we go. Yeah. Did it. Can't see me. You can see my teeth. So would you guys believe me right now if I told you that it's raining? Because it is. Where is it raining from? There's no there's no dark clouds. There's not even This is Florida. I love this. This is the litter this is the best weather. I, I love this so much. You can't even tell that it's raining on camera, but I promise it is. Quick update after our backstage passes. We got a little bit hungry, so over here at the sci-fi dining right now if you've never been here it's a pretty awesome place you just sit in little cars like you're at the drive-in theater back in the day this is supposed to be like 1950 hollywood hills i think Never before have I been happier to come outside into the Florida heat. It was freezing in the sci-fi dining out here now. And uh, I think we're gonna try to go to Toy Story Land and try to get on to Toy Story Mania. There's no more fast passes available. So I'll probably just have to wait standby. Just tell my pal Buzz, you've got a friend in me. Is that what you tell him? Oh, look who it is, Buzz. Strike a pose, Buzz. Hey. About to head on to Toy Story Mania. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get a high score. I have not been so successful at this ride. I'm a galactic hero on Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin, but on this ride, I have not been successful. This is a very hard ride. Every time I come off this ride, it feels like my shoulder is about to fall off. So hopefully, I do better. If you have a high score on this ride, let me know in the comments down below. I haven't even reached 300,000 before. I've got like 280,000, but never passed 300,000. That's my goal, to get to 300,000. Hurry, 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 hurry. Right this way, to Toy Story Midway Mania. It's a ride that's a game. It's not called Midway Mania anymore, sir. It's called Toy Story Mania now. All right, let's do this. All right, I can't film during the ride because I got to focus all my energy on pulling this string and hitting points, but I'll I'll update you guys as soon as I know my score. I know I did terrible. 172. I need more practice. Check out how awesome the Chinese theater looks right now. I missed the animation, celebrate animation, whatever it's called, the show. Um, but I'm going to try and watch the Star Wars show in just a little bit. Wonderful world of animation, that's what it's called.
such a great show. I don't know how they get those projections to look so crispy on the Chinese theater, but they do an amazing job. But I feel like not a lot of people go to the animation projection show and the Star Wars one because they're all over at Fantasmic watching that. And Fantasmic is an amazing show, but I've seen Fantasmic a lot of times, so sometimes it's nice to just switch it up and go see the other ones because they're really good too. But that is gonna wrap it up here for an amazing day at Disney's Hollywood Studios for Toy Story Land's one year anniversary. Uh, we got to do two of the Toy Story Land rides. We probably could have done Alien Swirling Saucers too, but I'm not the biggest fan of that ride. And it usually has a pretty long wait. I'm not going to wait that long for a ride that I'm not really that into. But otherwise, we got to ride Rock and Roller Coaster. Got to eat the Sci-Fi Dining, which was really cool. So yeah, a really good day. And if you guys enjoy the video, just go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do Disney history videos, Disney vlogs, Disney tips. I do universal videos as well. So if you like that stuff, go ahead and subscribe as well. And tell a friend to subscribe to the channel as well too. But just like Walt Disney said, it's kind of fun to do the impossible. And I will see you guys on the next video.